here we see a system that is built in what we would normally think of as waste space. It's behind a shopping centre. Below us is a bitumen driveway and the guy has brought in you know, gravel and soil and he's built in this very narrow space, this beautiful system. Look at all the plants he's got. He's running it on one very small pump, supplies water for the whole thing, minimum electricity usage and here he's got a fantastic garden growing. This guy shares a lot of his produce with the um, local people that are not so well off. It's just fantastic, just have a look at it. It just shows what can be done with aquaponics, a natural ecosystem, and that's what's so beautiful about it. Well, the challenge was to do it in a location that's a wasteland. No one considers. We had lots of tramps here. We have Homeland Security here. Lots of tramps here. I'm, I own three or four units here. I'm the maintenance and the treasurer. So it's an, it was up to me to keep this place safe. So I started putting fences. At a 7-Eleven, I put aside fences. And I said, fine, I can start using it here. And I learned friendlies, UVIs, Mr. Barry Hallam, Joel Malcolm, put them all together, permaculture, the Florton, and I said, I want to try and see what I can create. Not necessarily for commercial. That was my initial goal. But what 80% of this is backyard, you know, homes and gardens, window ledges. What can we do there? And then if we're really interested, I'm going to go international. I've already got offers in India and other parts of the world to put together systems for them, get them funding. I'm too, I have a business to run. I've got a family to feed, kids still at university, or not, I mean teaching. So I, I'll see how we do. But they are steps in progression. And this is a step. In the, in, you know, all these teachers, you have wonderful teachers around us, they are teaching, like they were said, the ABCs. We've just been making little sentences. Pretty soon we're going to have the whole story. And that story is what is going to, one of the ways we can help eliminate hunger. Yeah, it's, uh, aquaponics is not the answer to everything. Exactly. But it's certainly a good core issue to produce. And you, you, you know, build from there. It's like your ABCs. Yeah. You get your ABCs together, That's right. then you start adding words, and then you start making sentences, and before long you can write a whole story. That's it. Here's another example of what Sahib has done in this area that is at the back of a shopping centre again and in an area where there's a lot of uh, disadvantaged youth and homeless people. So Sahib has used his excess plants from his little greenhouse and he's planted out these garden beds along here uh, using permaculture principles. You know, he's building up the soil with um, waste plants and all that sort of thing. And he just makes this available to the local. They can just come and get whatever they want. Isn't that a fantastic system? You see he's got banana trees, he's got all sorts of other vegetables growing in the different uh, box things. And he just looks after this and makes it free and available to the local community, the uh, disadvantaged people who need to get some veggies and stuff. What a fantastic thing to do. This is aquaponics at work. Wonderful.